What is going on YouTube family? Welcome back to the farm. I am Andrea here at VW Family Farm and yesterday we had a very exciting day here. I, we wanted to show it to y'all. We took some footage and just share it with you. Um, so the first thing, first thing yesterday morning, Ben and Lane had to work at getting all the cows up to the corral. Um, we had someone coming. I had contacted here not too long ago a company called Called IMV Imaging and I'm gonna put them down below in the description and so we had someone coming yesterday morning to give us some lessons so the first step in yesterday's process was to get the cows up so what we're doing right now is we're gonna get a bale of hay we're gonna try to lure the cows up there we, we're not gonna pre check them all today but at least some of them to kind of get our feel of how the machine works and then after we're through with that, we may even go over and preg check one of the pigs and maybe even some of the sheep. I don't know. We'll see how that goes. But first, we got to hook up to this bale. I'm going to try to use it to lure the cows over here, make it a little easier on ourselves. And also, instead of chasing the cows all over the place with a hot wire up here, we're going to make a funnel with two hot wires and hopefully they're going to go straight down. We'll see how that goes. <laughs> Gotta do is go back through there and put up the post. Uh oh, we got a problem. Somehow, two got on the wrong side. They crossed it once, but they don't want to cross it again. I don't know what the deal is. All right, Lane got them uh, back across. Now, I think where he wants to go ahead and push the rest of these up there. There's only like 10, but his cow's in that, and he wants to know, is she pregnant? So let's go try to get them in. So they got the cows up. Emily and I got the rest of the chores here at the farm done and it was time to have our lesson. So you know that we are starting uh, a meat business as well as we've just had a farm here for quite a few years now and part of that uh, it goes hand in hand with learning to do a lot of your own vet work. That's just part of it. If you don't learn to do some things for yourself and you have to call the vet for every little thing, unless you just have an endless supply of money, you will quickly run out of money. Now, we love our vet and we have a good relationship with our vet. We do use them and call them and support them, but we have to do some things for ourselves. And so that's where this comes in. That's why um, I contacted them wanting to know what they had to offer and so they sent their representative to our farm Jordan he was a super nice guy along with a couple different ultrasound units and so Jordan taught us how to ultrasound cattle it's super awesome and interesting um, you're gonna see a little bit of that today and then we are gonna be showing you lots of footage over the next couple weeks of ultrasounding animals and hopefully get some videos to stick in there of what we're seeing um, on the ultrasound machine and so you're going to get to see all that as well mm. okay so right here mm. now i'm a little bit further and definitely pregnant okay. um, so what you're seeing here is mm. you're seeing those pockets of fluid 
and then you're seeing those little like white kind of yep. balls there. Those are the cotyledons I'm talking about. Okay. So what I was saying is that bladder, if it's open, you should only see that pocket of fluid. I'm past, there's a bladder there. And if I go past that, I see more black fluid right here. Okay. So I know that's uterine fluid right there. And then here's a good shot. And then to get there, all I'm doing is rotating this pistol grip here to get that different image. The centimeters you're measuring on the grid there? Yep, yep. so that, that grid there, that's how we would do the visual aging and how much ever squares the cap takes up on a measurement, that's how old that cap is. Okay. Um, but right now, that pistol grip is all the way to the end here and I'm seeing pretty big cotyledons and I haven't seen that calf yet. So I feel comfortable saying it's over five months but that's the tough part with aging is right. if it's over and you can't really see the calf to get those measurements, it's kind of hard to give a, a, you know, an exact. So I think okay. I'll try off like you do. Okay. So then here, if you want to put it, I can actually hold that. If you want okay. to put it into a back pocket, a front pocket, okay. wherever it feels comfortable. So after we got several cows done, uh, Jordan wound up doing several and then I did a few and Ben did a few until we felt fairly comfortable that we could do it on our own with Jordan not here holding our hand to do it. Um, we moved on and came back here to the house and if you know, we have two old spot mamas. We have Big Mama and we have Short Tail. And so Big Mama, if she's bred yet, we just weaned her piglets, she's only a week bred. Um, but Short Tail is about to have her babies in the next month or so. So we tried to get Short Tail to cooperate and as you're gonna see, we were gonna herd her up and put her in a chute but she wasn't having any of that and so ben just tried scratching on her back she she'll just almost like just become paralyzed when you start scratching her back so we tried that but it just wasn't enough time to get the ultrasound done properly so he left the unit and then we are going to do that later And then we moved on to the sheep uh, because like I said, that scanner will do sheep and goats as well. And we caught one and we're trying to do it. But the big kicker on sheep and goats, if you're gonna ultrasound them, because of the way their rumen works and stuff, you need to withhold feed for them for eight hours. So you need to put them up maybe at night and do it first thing in the morning if that works for you when they're free of feed so it won't um, block your view, I guess you would say. So we plan to do that as well. So like I said, there is some really exciting footage coming up for you guys because we plan to ultrasound every mama cow that we own as well as uh, pigs and sheep and all those things in the next few weeks while we have use of these machines super duper excited to um, be able to show this to you guys i think it's it's really going to be cool to see it was really neat to see yesterday uh, getting in the right spot we saw some little calves where you could see their whole body 
um, in the in the frame. It's just such a miracle to see life like that. It's so cool. And it definitely helps you as a farmer to know what cows are bred because you know if the bull's been in there long enough that everything should be bred. And if not, why? Then you have some decisions as a farmer as to what to do with that information, as well as sheep and goats and pigs and everything. If they're not bred and you're expecting that they should be, that makes you take a hard look at, okay, where do we go from here? So it's just more information for you to have at your fingertips. So we will be showing you guys all of that over the next few weeks. And Ben took a minute as we end this video to catch up with Jordan about how you guys, if you want to get your hands on an ultrasound machine, but you don't have the funds to buy one, how you can use one as well for a short period of time and be able to check your animals as well. So I'm going to leave you with that. And, um, then I will see you guys on the next one. There's lots of ultrasounding coming up in the next couple weeks, so stay tuned. The machine is actually wireless and it sends it to our phone, so we're even we're gonna be able to show you literally videos of babies moving in the womb. So it's gonna be so cool. I can't wait. And I'll see you guys on the next one. God bless. All right, so if somebody wanted to uh, to rent one of these, do y'all rent that one and rent the one for the cow also? Yep, so that that's a nice, kind of feature that IMV has is we do offer a leasing program mm -hmm. um, so we do have a lot of times where people call in and say um, I'm interested in just leasing you know an ultrasound kit uh, typically what we'll do is we'll ask them what they're scanning for kind of figure out the best kit for them right. uh, find the one that they're most interested in you know leasing out uh, from there it just depends on the model of ultrasound you're going to be leasing and just for the amount of time and from there we just bring that to my manager and he kind of comes up with uh, either a bi-weekly or a, a bi-monthly or a monthly kind of price okay. um, and then I'd come back you know tell it to you guys and then if you agree from there all I need is a good delivery address and I can get a kit sent your way so on uh, uh, on renting one versus buying one, you can rent one like if you've got a small herd, you can rent one for like I said a week or is it about a month? So it, it kind of depends, you know, on, on the situation. Sometimes people have, you know, their herd, neighbors' herd, or just oh, okay. bigger and smaller. So it kind of depends on uh, the number uh, as well. Sometimes right. the smaller herd, if you only need it for you know, a day or two and you're able to scan everything. Right. Uh, obviously there, you'd probably only need it for a couple days or a week where sometimes we'll have people calling in and they know right away that, uh, you know, I need this equipment, I'll need it from these date ranges. Um, so they'll know that up front. know, okay, well, it's gonna be a month, two month. Uh, and like I said, from there, it kind of just depends on what, you know, what kit's gonna fit you guys the best mm -hmm. and then for how long and then from there, you kind of come up with the pricing uh, of how much it would cost. Okay. But yes. But on everything, there's uh, kind of a happy window in there when it's best to, to preg check them. Yep. Uh, on the sheep, uh, sure. what was that? So with sheep, uh, the one one key thing to note too is keeping them off feed for eight hours. Yeah. Uh, otherwise, if they weren't off feed, they may show up open even if they were pregnant. Mm -hmm. uh, but other than that, the the good you know ideal date ranges would be from 30 to 50 days. Mm -hmm. uh, with the duo scan go, you can adjust the the depth in there, and you can see all the way up to about 100 days. Uh, but the closer you're getting to 50, that's going to be the more ideal date range. Okay. Yes. Yeah, so the closer you get, that's going to be the kind of the most optimal time. And then on the cattle, what was the kind of the optimal time that if you had to pick a kind of a perfect window there, what would you, what would you shoot for? So every operation is a little bit differently. And I think it matters to what you're scanning for. Mm -hmm. uh, with dairies, we tend to see, uh, they go for the shorter, shorter bred ones. So they'll mm -hmm. start scanning, you know, anywhere from 28 to 30 days. That's when they'll start. Uh, depending on the operation, they, you know, some might wait to 35, 40 days. Um, but again, uh, that's where, you know, calling in and being able to talk to us, will let you know what kind of probe would probably fit you the best. So in that scenario, uh, when you're working with dairy cows and you're going to do earlier checks, the linear probes, your better option, mm -hmm. uh, working, you know, with beef cattle, that's where same thing. It kind of depends on the operation, but with the curve probe and introducer, you know, you, you shouldn't have any problems. Uh, identifying pregnancies at that shorter date range, but 
uh, for aging, everything like that. 50, 55 days, all the way up to five months, you're gonna be able to see that whole calf and you know not run into any issues for right. that repro side. Okay, so if somebody's interested in, in purchasing one or leasing one, how's the best way they can go about that? So uh, just contacting our office number. Uh, you can either Google it, otherwise it's 507-529-8200. Mm -hmm. uh, from there, calling in, uh, depending on where you guys are located, that's where we're gonna directly direct you to your guys' uh, salesman. Uh, from there, it's kind of figuring out what's the best fit for your operation, what you guys feel more comfortable with. Uh, and what's a nice feature about IMV is we do offer free on-site demos. So if you get to the point where you're considering purchasing and you wanted to, you know, try it out to make sure it is a good fit, right. that you know that's a benefit you have of being able to try out those different probes, try out different viewing options before having to make that decision. Um, as far as leasing, if you know, you know the ideal date ranges that you're going to be doing your scanning uh, from there calling in making sure we have availability uh, of those machines it would never hurt if you know those date ranges ahead of time to give us some more time just to make sure we're going to have a kit for you right because uh, as far as our demo stock goes uh, it kind of depends on how many people are contacting us how many trials everything like that we have out there at the time okay yeah all right i appreciate it yeah no problem <laughs>